Hey guys, welcome back. It's Penguin and Cat for more Alan Wake. Yum. We just got here from the um, barn that we were in, from, that's up there. And now we are down here, so let's continue onwards. Oh yeah, and in between episodes we killed Barry. Yeah, he's he's no more. We've, we slaughtered him. Yep. Let's go. Well, this is a nice big open place to get attacked. Alrighty. Oh! Oh lord. Oh lord. That is a big tractor. You, you going somewhere? But buddy? No, not the shud! <laughs> what did the shud ever do to you? Oh lord. You're, you're supposed to die. You're supposed to die, friend! Uh, or I'm gonna die. Something like that. That was not supposed to happen. See, you were supposed to die instead of me. Mm-hmm. Well, let's give that another shot, I guess. Another shot. Hey, 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 Yeah, that was a bad joke. Yeah. Shine directly at the shake. Oh, I'll shine directly at it. Give me some of that light. Mmm, girl. <laughs> and this is gonna run into that. Like an idiot. Oh, hi guys. Ow. He's chasing after me. Bunch of assholes. Can you, can you guys cut it out? I'm just gonna make a flare landmine over here. Oh yeah, I did it! Sweet! I did it! Now now what you guys gotta say? Now we gotta fight these guys. That's oh. what we gotta say. Well, that's easy. I'll just do this. And then be like, hi. Bam. And then be like, hi. Well, hold on. Now, now hi. Bam. There we go. Oh, you're left. Anyway, bye. Now where do we go? Well, thank you for that fact. Mmm, bacon. And there are 60,000 dead shadow people in the world. Because I killed them. That, that was a dumb joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you for opening the way to go, though. It's very, very nice of you. Kind of the way to go? Yeah. Yeah. Although I saw a box over here. I'm gonna go get the goodies. Ow. Coffee. What about it? I want it. Well, too bad. We don't have any coffee. Well, we have coffee, just not good coffee. Mm, yeah. And jump. Whee! Bim! Parkour! <laughs> To the max. Cool it, pick cool it. Silo. Let's see what's over here. Uh, oh yeah, J.K. Barry's not dead. Oh. Yeah, Damn it. Hang on. I I like to believe that he was dead. Hey, let's yep. go, man. Shot him right in the back. <laughs> He'd be like, "What the fuck, Al?" Yep. We're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Oh, really? Yeah. It's too heavy for you to take care of. <laughs> hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. No shit. No shit. Do 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 Crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Hey, mm. <laughs> hey. Look, we're going to Valhalla. Yep. It means we're dead. Mm-hmm. Is that the entire on, meaning of this game? game? We're already dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, there's a chainsaw. And the big lag spike. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Stop being a slow fat ass. The lights are out. No Just shit. The fuse box. <laughs> Did you expect the lights to be on? 
Probably. He's a dumbass like always. What made you think he was gonna do any different? Out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Let's go find the fuse box, Dean. Oh, thermos. Thermos coffee. I want some coffee. Uh, you already said that. I don't know, but I don't care. Barry, out of the way. Quit following me like a lost puppet. Kick it. Oh, I wanted to kick it. A uh, two coffee at Thermo says. More coffee! Well, how do I get downstairs? Gotta go to the basement. <laughs> I, I just said that. How do I get downstairs? You gotta go to the basement. <laughs> You're not helping. Eh, uh, I figured. I'm just being. I'm just being a you troll. Know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah. I don't think they Come keep on, too Alan. close an eye on them at the huh? clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome! Hmm. Well, what's a booby hatch? I think it's another word for loony, Ben. I want to go to the booby hatch. <laughs> I like boobies. Who doesn't like boobies? Uh, I wanted to parkour over that. Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Anderson's talking about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Cool. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> We're gonna get spammered. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. No oh, good. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. Till oh, Jesus. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Some bromance going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Barry sleeps with his eyes open? I don't know. So, so does Alan? That, that's just fucking weird. Yeah. I'm a ghost! I'm spooky! <laughs> Out of body experience. Oh lord. Now what? It's a weird camera angle. Oh, because I'm I'm a ghost. Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remember being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice, 
Alice would have never turned the lights off. Crush Blush with no splash I remember or thinking, I person. caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! Mick Jagger? <laughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. You don't look like Mick Jagger. <laughs> she must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice? behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. Hmm. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. So we basically made a pact with the devil. You or Mick Jagger. Write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. <clears throat> yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. Dude, Zane's a big daddy. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. 
but he had managed to weaken the dark presence. Kept me safe that night. And you were still inebriated and couldn't drive. You. Yeah. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, shit. Well, I think we'll end it there. That was quite a long cutscene. So, yep. I'll see you guys on the next Alan Wake. Bye. Bye.